Augustus. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with just about anybody in the business, and he enjoys doing it. And he goes into people's hometowns. He doesn't worry about that. Have gloves will travel with him. Have shoes will travel. He takes fights on quick notice, and you know what? The one thing about him, he can fight. On his way up, he fought nothing but tough competition. No kitty gloves for this guy. So when you're in there with him, you better bring it. The entertaining and well-skilled Emmanuel Augustus takes on Courtney Burton. There's Courtney Burton making his walk to the ring. Now, there is Emmanuel Augustus. As many of you know, he changed his name from Emmanuel Burton a few years back after his parents married, and he was an adult. Three years ago, this fight would have been Burton versus Burton. Thankfully for the change, it's not. Emmanuel's last five. He was winning his fight against Tomas Barrientes before referee Lawrence Cole DQ'd Emmanuel after two fouls and an incident with Cole. We'll talk about that as the night goes on. Referee Dan Kelly for this 10 round. Well, the instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. A touch him up. Let's go. Will the real Burton please stand up?
who clearly didn't like the fact that I was questioning his call, but I wanted an explanation after the ninth round, Teddy. And if you listen to what Dan Kelly says, he says that he flipped him around. He saw the opposite of what took place. He thinks Augustus flipped around Burton. Exactly. Very good point. Exactly. That's not what took place. Augustus, if any flipping was done, the flipping was done by Augustus. He turned himself around. Let me tell you something. You see a happy Emmanuel Augustus right now. He may go berserk if this goes against him. Let's take a look at the total punches between Augustus and Burton. 302 to 2. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 great rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for our decision. Judge Ed Mosley scored about 97-92. Judge Robert Peganelli scored the bout 99-90. And Judge Jack Richards scored the bout 98-94. For a split decision, the winner from Benton Harbor, well, Michigan. Well, wait a minute here. First of all, wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, this is terrible. This is disgraceful. First of all, they said a split decision. I thought, they said a split decision. I mean, and it's not a split decision. This, this, this is a travesty here. This is terrible. Look, this guy, August, is acting like a clown tonight. But he also acted like a fighter. He also fought like a fighter. And he won this damn fight. All right. This is a disgrace. Listen.